Hey everyone, so we are doing yet again a, another 2019-2020 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Blaster Box Break. This time I managed to find two more, and so pretty much the reason that I'm doing this is I've had so much fun with the other ones. I think I've had like eight total up to this point. I've decided that I want to put together the set. Um, so definitely want to do at least the base set. Uh, the rookie class, like I mentioned in the last video, is so great in these boxes that it would be amazing to do the rookie class as well. And I've picked up quite a few inserts that it may be possible to do those as well. So if you haven't seen the, the first video, I definitely go into a little bit more detail about the product in that one as well. But um, definitely check that out. There's a couple good hits in the four blaster box video as well. As far as the base set goes, I am, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 cards away. You would think that I would have the entire thing by now, but um, there are some cards like Darren Helm, for example, I have like six Darren Helms, which makes absolutely no sense. I have six Darren Helms and I have zero Alex Chase on. So however that works out, I don't really know. But um, one cool thing about this box, like I mentioned, um, the rookies, great rookie class, the value of the rookies are pretty solid as well too. These retail for 20 bucks a piece and of course the new stuff is out so it's becoming harder to find these ones in the stores and I just got back into collecting about three months ago maybe. So um, I didn't exactly get started right from the jump with these. So uh, as things go along, you know, I would definitely want to keep building the set through pulling it and maybe through trading and then uh, save purchasing individual cards until the end. That's can be kind of like a cheat code sometimes, if, especially if you're doing like basic cards that can be pretty easy to locate. It can definitely be a lot more fun to open the packs and go, th go through the journey of building your set more organically that way. So uh, just one final quick rundown here. So I definitely, uh, we're expected to get four rookies. The odds are one in four packs. There are seven packs in each of these boxes. I have gotten two rookies in all of these boxes except one. And then oddly enough, on the blaster box that I opened like right after it, I got three. So it ended up evening out. So there's typically two in a box. Um, the jerseys and autos are pretty hard to come by in the blasters, so I'm not really expecting anything that way, but definitely rookie-wise, we want to find Quinn Hughes, Jack Hughes, oh my gosh, Kabalik, Makar, Olofsson, and a few other guys as well, too. A lot of good rookies in this. Uh, guys like Rasmus Sandin as well that you can pick up. And then as far as the players that I need to complete the base set that I'm also going to be looking for in this video. Just a little bit of a, a bonus. So, Frederick Anderson, Charlie Coyle, Sam Reinhardt, Anthony Duclair, Keith Yandel, Jordan Wheel, Alex Wenberg, Blake Coleman, Adam Lowry, Ryan O'Reilly, Alex Petrangelo, Sam Gerrard, Matt Calvert, Bo Horvat, Jake Furtanen, and Alex Chason. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead. We'll open these bad boys up. We'll get to work and see what we can get tonight. All right, so get this outer layer of plastic first, of course. And I, I had so much fun making the last video, so if anybody would love to check that out, that'd be super cool. And like I said, there were a couple of pretty good hits in that one. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. And always it was just fun conversing about the, the sport and about the cards and other fun facts. So definitely check that out if you can. Get our packs out of this one right here. Put them down. One thing I really like about these cards too, their, their quality. Um, I've opened some other stuff of football recently and like the cards are just all all jacked up man like you know the centering's way off or 
the sides, you know, it's not even print, printed right on there, or like the corners are dinged, you know. Um, these cards, man, I feel like they're printed like really well and in really good shape. So kudos to Upper Deck on that, man. Uh, a lot of the other stuff I've been seeing is like football with Panini. So, but Panini's got the football license, so if you want to go to the football party, you got to pay Panini for that right there. So, all right, cool. This is Blaster Box 1. This is Blaster, Blaster Box 2, excuse me. And let's go ahead and we'll get right into it here. Uh, I'm going to switch things up. I usually go left to right, but we'll start with... Blaster box number two today. So here goes pack number one. Nice little clean rip down the middle. And I've got a big Nino Nieder Rider staring me right in the face. Traded to Carolina from Minnesota. In a very, very one sided deal a couple years ago, I think it was. I think it was two seasons ago. So we have. Dylan Strome, Franz Nielsen, Dougie Hamilton in that Whalers beauty of a throwback, Nikolai Ehlers, Kale Fleury, who I think I already have, <laughs> so that is a duplicate that will go up for trade. I, I didn't even see Kale in this one, I think. I'm pretty sure the Young Guns usually the fourth card, and this was the fifth, so that was kind of neat. So Kale Flurry, there's an extra one there up for trade. If anybody's anybody's got something you can dish out in exchange, let me know. Hyman, Ren and Sod, and Nito Nieder Rider. So we pulled our first rookie hit. And everything in that pack was a duplicate for me. So let's do number two. Man. I've never gotten a hot box. I don't know if they still exist, but if they, I got a hot box where there's like rookies in every pack, that'd be awesome. Just a random thought. Okay, Tyler Bozak, Leo Komarov, Nolan Patrick, a UD Portraits of Leon Dreisaitl. I know I have that one as well, so that's pretty cool. Have an extra the MVP up for trade. John Carlson, Nicholas. Chalmerson, Braden Shen, and Damon Severson. All right. Let's go with pack number three here. A wild Philip Heedle has appeared, staring at us through the back of the pack. <laughs> All right, so we have Philip Grubauer, Carter Hart, Yanni Gord, Michael Granlund, Sasha Barkov, Dylan Larkin. Anyone who watched the last video, I want to say that I got to have a I have a different Larkin. I have two different Larkins. There were some photo variations that were made. And I wonder I feel like I've got a variation of Larkin. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I organized all the cards and they're in a, you know, a sorting box right now, but I gotta go back and look at that. Justin Schultz and the aforementioned Philip Heedle. So I'm pulling all dupes so far, all duplicates. But if we get a Quinn Hughes duplicate, that is going to make all of my money back. And it'll be very easy to trade. Oh, this, this pack, man. This pack right here feels super thick. I don't know why. Maybe I'm tripping or just, I don't know, bugging out or something. It feels really thick. Doesn't look like we've got anything thicker. It felt thick. That was weird. Brian Rust, Mike Hoffman, Connor Sherry. Casey Zizekas, a UD canvas of Jonathan Druan. I don't believe I have that one yet. We'll set him over to the side. Cal Clutterbuck, Ryan Ellis, 
and Brian Little. That must have been what the extra weight was, that canvas. Yeah, I just felt that it feels a little bit thicker. Not by much, but when you, you start opening a lot of packs, I don't know, it's just a random thing. A sign of being a pack nerd. <laughs> you start to feel when one weighs a little bit heavier than the others. All right, let's come on. Let's see if we can get some mojo going here. All right, Andre Svechnikov, Danny DeKaiser, Matthias Ekholm. Yeah, baby, another Victor Golovson rookie. This is my second one of his, and this kid, man. If anybody here is not a Sabres fan or has not seen the Sabres play, this kid can shoot the ish out of a puck. I'm not going to say the word, but because there might be kids watching. This guy can absolutely shoot the puck, man. He is an absolute goal scorer. That's why they call him Golovson. Get it? Uh, this one, man, why I'm pausing, it looks like it's in really good shape. It's cool if you can get these graded. I'm just trying to take a quick look at it. Let's just see here. Those bottom corners look nice. That top right looks nice. I don't know about the printing on the right side. The top, it's kind of got some lines, almost looking like it missed a little bit. And that upper left corner, just ever so tiny. I don't know if you can see it, that upper left right there. It's really tiny, man. This one, I think my other one had a ding on the one corner. This one is pretty clean. Yeah, that lower right looks pretty good. Upper right on the back. Let's see, upper left. Sorry if you couldn't see that. Let's look at the right. That, or excuse me, the left. That one looks good, man. This Olufsen's in good shape right here. So, that one might be able to get graded. We're going to put that one off to the side. We'll get it sleeved up in a little bit. Super happy to pull another Olufsen, man. That's like a, I think it's like a $15 card it's going for right now. So that's almost the whole value of the blaster back right there. And maybe we can still pull some of these guys that we need for, well, that I need. <laughs> uh, Nick Bukestad, Jasperi, Kotkaniemi, also known as KK, Paul Stasny, who is now a Winnipeg Jet, and Big Z is the Dano Chara. Yeah, this um, this set here, man, has been super generous with with inserts, or at least for me, it has. I pulled a ton of canvases, ton of portraits. Um, the last video, man, that one blaster, I got a ton of them. It was like every pack had. A canvas, and I want to say there was one where I had like a rookie, a young, young guns rookie, and a canvas. So that's why I'm thinking about doing these inserts, but we'll see, man. We'll see how that shakes out. Okay, so Mark Stahl, who is now a Detroit Red Wing, Nick Ritchie for the Ducks in that 25th anniversary uniform. Series 1 checklist of Matthews and Goudreau, Tori Krug, Max Delmi, who's now a blue jacket, Crow from the Blackhawks, Victor Arvidsson, and Louis, Louis Erickson. We got our rookies pretty early in this one, so this last pack right here is just going to be a bonus at this point. Um, we've got our two rookies. Um, unfortunately, I have not pulled any of those singles that I need, man, which is super disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. Um, like I say, there's probably opportunities to trade. So this last pack, man, if there's a rookie or something else hanging out in here, it's just going to be a bonus for us at this point. So let's hope that that mojo kicks in again here and we come, in, come into this uh, ahead we're playing with house money right now, as the figure of speech goes. All right, come on. Cool. Oh, 
always try to pull them out super clean. This way I never hit the corners on my own. It still happens, you know, on its own without me doing it. So, uh, Kyle Clifford, Shea Weber, Webby, Ryan Suter, Brennan Gallagher, Shooting Stars, I do not have, Hampus Lindholm, Darnell Nurse, Evander Kane, wonder if he's going to fight, who is it, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, both of them, he wants to fight at least one of them, probably both, and Brennan Dillon, Capitals now. Everybody see those Sharks 30th anniversary jerseys that came out? Man, those are sweet. I uh, I bought the Reebok one. I finally found one in my size about six months ago. So I don't know if the honest is on me for that, for not. Maybe I didn't hear that they were coming out, but I paid, I paid a premium to get it. And now I could get an Adidas one so easily for cheaper but that's just kind of the way it is sometimes. It's still a sick uni either way, whether you got the Adidas or you got the Reebok. All right, blaster box number one, here we go. Let's hoping we can get, <laughs> I got none of these guys on my list. Uh, that's super hilarious. I'm probably gonna laugh out loud when I watch this video, <laughs> just seeing that I didn't get a single one of them. So let's hope we can, uh, hope we can work some magic here. A real quick, I just noticed, ironically, I got a canvas of Wenberg, but the canvas doesn't really count as the base set. I know I pulled a canvas of Wenberg, and he's on my list, so. <laughs> Interesting how that works. All right. TJ Oshi, Jason Zucker, Cam Fowler, Connor Hellebuck. I saw that blue, and I was thinking maybe we got a Young Guns coming. Josh Morrissey. Oh, it's Lowry that we need, not Morrissey. Henrik Borgstrom, who I've told you all about before. Sam Bennett, who's kind of got the Lanny facial hair sort of going on there. And Tugarask. All right, baby. And a lot of talk that hockey's starting up in January. Who's all excited for that, man? I'm ready. I want to play fantasy again this year too. I haven't played fantasy. I took a year off. I'm ready to go again. So, all right, let's get to it. Miko Koskinen, Nick Bonino, Tomas Hurdle, Michael Kempney, Kyle Ocposo, Michael Bodker, uh, checklist of Ryan O'Reilly and Marshan. That's the checklist, not the regular O'Reilly that we need. And Boone Jenner from the Jackets. Yeah, man, the Jackets. I heard some rumors that Corpus Allo was available, or one or the other, Corpus Allo or Merzlikens. Probably Corpus Allo, man. I like him, man. I think he's a good goalie. I think he's solid. I think if somebody picks him up, the worst that they have is a top 15 goalie right there. You know? Ooh, this Richardson right here. I don't know if you can see it right about there. It's got a ding in it. I got a few like that, man. I think I'm going to send, I'm just going to send, you know, an envelope to upper deck. Just be super polite and just ask them if they can switch out a few of those for me. Because it's now, it's like up to 10 cards that are like that. I mean... 10 cards, 10 blasters, but hey, I heard they're pretty chill and they make it right, so why not? All right, David Perron, Frank Vitrano, he's had some good seasons in Florida, man, picked up his goal scoring totals, Anthony Sorelli, Jacob Chikrin, Leon Dreisaitl, Michael Backlund, and Nathan McKinnon. Man, McKinnon is such a beast, dude. Anytime you ask me about Nathan McKinnon, I always got something. <laughs> something good to say about that dude. He is an, a maniac. And I wish we could trade in fantasy hockey because, like, I need that guy on my team, man. He's so good. But if you could get Matthews, McDavid, you know, that's still good as well. But 
McKinnon's there, man. Don't you don't you think of passing him up unless you got McDavid right there? Maybe Matthews. I don't know, but I think McKinnon's a little bit better. All right, Toffoli's got a, a ding real quick. I'm just going to show you as you can see the young guns in this pack. There's ding, so we're going to put Toffoli in this pile too. Come on, baby. I would love to pull a Jack Hughes right here, man. Let this be a Jack. Trying to wake my neighbors up. If it's a Jack Hughes, Matt Dumba. Max Pacioretty, Philip Daniel, Martin Jones. All right. I do not have Rudolph's Balsers. I hope that's how you say his name, man. This one, I'm not sure. He's like he's like from the Czech Republic, man. His name is hard to pronounce, but I do not have this rookie. And this kid's not too bad, man. He's put up some points in the A for, uh, for Binghamton, man. Yeah, as it says here, traded from San Jose to Ottawa in the Carlson deal. Uh, he has scored some NHL goals, man. I think this guy. I think this guy's decent. I don't know if he's a world beater or if he's a top liner, but I think I think this guy, man. I think this guy's gonna be a second or a third liner in the NHL, man. So this is a cool one to have. I like him. Rudolph's Balsers. And, and legit, I'm going to look up how to say his name later now that I have his card. Spurgeon, Mike Green. Yeah, man, that haul that Ottawa got from that Carlson deal, enormous. Josh Norris, they got the pick that ended up becoming, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Stutzel? Stutzle? How do you say it? German guy. I'm going with Stutzel for right now. Oh man, and this stall. This stall's got a big nick in it as well, too, right in the back. These ones got something in the production line, man, right there. They got that one, so. Put him in that pile. Bro, why haven't I gotten any of these guys that I need? <laughs> Except for Balsers. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, Van Reemsdyke, James. Matthew, Barzal, or should I, say, should I just keep going? Barzal, Matthew, Elias Lindholm. We got a portraits of Barzal. I don't have his yet in that, that portrait, so that's cool. Put him in this pile. Jacob Voracek, wearing that gritty color orange there. Alex Kalorn and Coots. All right, man. Two packs left. Two packs. Let's see if we can get... We really want to get another rookie. Or we're going to be left in the cold on that. <laughs> that make me nervous, man. I swear. When you're down to, like, the last two packs and you haven't gotten something, maybe you're not, like... Maybe it says, like, on average or, like, you're not, like, necessarily guaranteed to get it. I'm peeking. <laughs> I'm peeking. <laughs> Trying to see... But yeah, man, let's take a look and see what we got here. All right, Sagan, Ryan Strom, Drew Doughty, Christian Fisher, Rupe Hintz, Chris Kreider, Marcus Sorensen. It's got that, that goofy look on his face every time I pull this card. And Christian Dvorak. Damn, bro, I haven't gotten a single, single card that I need. This is the, this is crazy, man. It's like what? I got like a, what do we say? Was it 18? 18 out of 200 odds. So it's like right around 10%, a little bit lower. But you'd still think, right? You'd still think you pull at least a couple, right? You know? All right. And, and to that point, I do have a Jordan wheel, but it is like messed up bad in the back. Oh, shit, dude. I hope I have a Young Guns in here, man. Pedersen's got a little bit of a nick, right? Can you see it? Right there. I don't think we got a Young Guns, man. I think it's a canvas in this one. I think we got gypped. We got gypped the rookie. But it is one in four, so that's that risk. You got a 75% chance in the, the other three packs outside of that first four. So, all right, let's do it. So, Clefbaum. 
Kuznetsov, Burns, Tatar, Canvas, Ryan McDonough, Taylor Hall, and Johnny Taves. So, this little list right here, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna throw this like right out the window or something, man. We didn't pull a single guy that we needed. Um, two, two duplicate rookies. Um, fortunately, one of them is Victor Olofsson. So that one, man, that one is pretty easy. You can get money for that and then use that to pick up some of the guys that you need. Uh, I could get like easily four rookies that I need for that Olofsson. Um, picked up a couple of canvases, man. I don't know if those are really, what those are really going for right now, but basically at the end of this, man, we got McDonough, Canvas, Barzal. There was a, um, it's in my other pile. Yeah, right. Who's the other canvas we got? Whatever. We had a dry saddle portrait. Got a Gallagher shooting stars. Got Rudolph's Balsers. That one's, that man, that Balsers is in pretty good shape too. He's not a guy you'd grade yet, but that's a pretty slick card. Oh, Duran. Duran was the guy. And then our, our slick Victor Olofsson. And then I think Kale Flurry, I think I buried him accidentally. So, yeah, that is it for today, man. Jack Hughes and Kale McCarr are still hiding from me, but we did pull Quinn before. So, uh, hey, man, like and subscribe, please, if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.